Hey, After Buzzers, what is going on? We're here to talk about Freeform's brand new show, Siren, episodes one and two. We've got mermaids, we've got mystery, and we've kind of got a lot of gore. We can't wait to discuss it. We've got a special surprise for you, so don't go away. You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Guys, mm -hmm. all right, finally, the long <laughs> await yes, is yeah. over, and we it finally is. got to see the first two episodes of Siren. Right? We were waiting for this. We've been we waiting. Been Guys, been I am ready. I've got my Mermaid Day shirt on, I've got my Mermaid water bottle, and I've got my Mermaid <laughs> notebook, all ready. things to reform. I'm yeah. so ready. But hey, guys, let's just introduce us really quick. We've got Carla Beltran. How are you hey doing guys, today? How's it going? I'm doing great. Amazing. Yeah. And Sarah Lioness. <laughs> Hello. Such an elegant name. Oh, I, I know, love it. Seriously. I love it. And hey guys, it's Ali Nasta here, and we can't wait to bring you all of the juicy recaps every week for Freeform's new show, Siren. Mm -hmm. So let me know. Listen to this music, guys. I know. Right? I, know. I, I am. Siren I am song. living it. <laughs> we have our first mommy spotlight of the season, oh, Jade. Right. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to talk to you. Well, Jade, guys, hey, uh, can so you hear me? What do you? Hey. Yay! So what awesome. Do you guys think okay, about so you've been so much fun to watch. Episode. The show came out oh last week. What was, was your life really been like the past week? Dark it was, you mm -hmm. know? Like, I mean, yeah. you could tell by the trailer it was, yeah. but I was like, ooh, and like you said in the intro, a little gory at times. And I was mm -hmm. just like, okay, free form, we're going there. But it was really interesting. Definitely. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it, kind of gave me a lot of. Twilight vibes, which I mm -hmm. I appreciate, and it gave me kind of the Pretty Little Liars vibes, and I liked them kind of both of them con combined, mm -hmm. and it was it was everything that I hoped for and so much more. Yeah, definitely, it is interesting to see the different take on mermaids, and you do kind of sympathize for them. Yeah. So let's just go right into Rin, and I think it was so great how they kind of she is a phenomenal actress. Oh by my gosh. Gosh. wow, yeah, let's, she's amazing. She didn't even say a word for probably the whole first episode. Exactly. Exactly. Besides the fact that she says like I am Rin, mm -hmm. and she she completely Her stole the whole show. Exactly. Yeah. The way she, she was looking and acting, you could totally yeah. believe every second of it. Right. And I yeah. just I just loved the realisticness of even her looking at her toes and mm -hmm. and just looking at everything as if it was the first time she saw yeah, it because exactly. it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest question was I think I kept wondering how does she keep ending up on land? Right. They haven't showed us that exactly. yet. Exactly. And how. Because we saw that transition to go back into water, but like yeah. what happens? She just swims up. Like how does she? How does she get on land? And then I mean, change, I know? think we did see a, a a portion where we see. I think that the tail kind of when she kind of gets out of the tail when she falls, like she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see that when she like she wakes up and then we see kind of the trace of the tail? So I think she might be doing it on purpose, but I. So she can change. Like so she, she can, can change, change yeah. I well, feel like they know that they could change. Well, I, I know that she knows that, but I'm just wondering, I'm curious as to how, because she wakes up in the same spot every time in yeah. this random sailboat, but I'm yeah. just wondering, how does she get there? Exactly. You know, like, like That's they haven't shown her get out of the water yeah. into the to boat, there, yeah. Yeah. and I thought it was interesting that it was that one spot, so mm -hmm. I wonder if there's something that has to do with that spot, that yeah. specific mm -hmm. spot that helps, uh, does something with, I don't know, but that's going to be really interesting it to is. kind of... Too. Find out what it is. Figure out how the process of her mm -hmm. coming on land every time. Exactly. And she just ends up in these random clothes that she right. finds on I, the uh, clothesline. Yeah, line. exactly. Some people are still <laughs> hanging their clothes out. So, yeah. so great. Yeah. Um, I, I was really interested um, to see Rin kind of come into this character as the mermaid and see her introduction to Ben. Because mm -hmm. I feel like we all have this nostalgia of the little mermaid. Yeah. Exactly. And my, I don't know about you guys, you tell me. When I first saw Ben and Rin's kind of connection, I'm thinking, are they going to be in love? Oh, there's yes, chemistry. Yes, definitely. For sure. The way that they looked at each other, there's no way. And yeah. then she sang to him. Oh my God, that's so. Her siren song. <laughs> I, I was mesmerized. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, that was crazy. It was crazy. Um, but speaking of people that are kind of mesmerizing, mm -hmm. it's Ben and Maddie, Ben's yes. girlfriend. Yeah. Let's not forget, he's got a girlfriend yeah. that he loves, and he yes. said he loved her. Yeah. Um, she even says that she ends up getting captivated by Rin. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really interesting to kind of see how this is all going to pan out. Because we kind yeah, of got thrown so much information mm -hmm. at once. A lot. So um, that's definitely going to be interesting how that triangle kind exactly. of yeah. love triangle and you saw itself out. you saw Rin watch them like as they kiss like the yeah. first moment she was just like, hmm. 
what yeah. is that? <laughs> What's going on yeah. here? Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Yeah, and I really like that Ben is there to help out Ren. He's, yeah. he's interested and he's intrigued and, you know, his friends went on this trip and one went missing and mm-hmm. he wasn't believing them at first. And it took him to actually encounter mm-hmm. and experience yeah. in order to figure this all out. Mm-hmm. Which leads us to Ben's family. So that's a very interesting story. So they're Definitely. kind of the founders of this mermaid town almost. Exactly. And their legacy is basically based off of a lie. Right. Yeah. And um and and what was interesting is to kind of see the family dynamics and we got a little glimpse of that with his mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think her story is? Oh my god! Because why is she in a wheelchair? Do we right. know this? What happened? Yeah, and clearly there's no love between her and the father. It's right. like they're they're putting on this show, mm-hmm. and because they're, they're upset that Ben isn't playing along, yeah. you know. So I'm I'm really interested to see how that relationship, how it got that way. What's his father hiding? What's like what happened to the mother? You know exactly. And if they know the truth, right? I think that's yes. a, I think that's the most the most right. intriguing thing. It's like, do they know that these creatures actually do exist? Mm-hmm. And I think the truth, Carla, that you bring up is, is a really interesting point only because, you know, we have Ben figure out through Helen that maybe what he's known his whole life has kind of yeah. been based off of a lie. Exactly. And he, he confronts his dad. In that moment that he's confronting his dad, do you think that he knew any, any side? Like, I thought the dad was lying. To him about not knowing about the gen and being like what like of course like he oh, was yeah. like oh yeah, no definitely. you know it's all fake yeah. you think he actually believes or I've, do you think he he just is believing the stories? I think he knows something, um, and this is sort of more of like a prediction. But I have a feeling that they've encountered a mermaid before. The dead. So yeah, mm-hmm. I think so, and I think that they're trying to hide it from from the public because they've made this whole play about how they found the mermaids and how um, the his dad was like in love with the mermaids. So it's kind of like one of those, like they don't want the story to die because as of right now, I feel like they're kind of the main people in the story and they don't want to lose, like they don't want to lose that title in the city, so. Exactly, that's yes, because of that story that they yeah. founded this town and that's what mm-hmm. it's based on. And it's also a good fantasy story too. So, yeah. but I guess I didn't really think so do you think the dad, he believes in mermaids? And they're just hiding it? Because I don't I, know. I think he's hiding the fact that obviously we kind of learned that there was a genocide, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? And I think he's hiding the fact that, yeah, because he talks about how, oh, you know, he was a little schizophrenic. He yeah. was a little crazy. Yeah. And he was a drunk and he was mm-hmm. making up these stories. Yeah. I don't know if he necessarily believes that. Mm-hmm. I think he kind of knows the goriness that went, that went down. Mm-hmm. But wants to make sure that that stays hidden, hidden. and under the radar. Yeah, right. And he does believe. And it's easy for him to kind of point Helen as the crazy one. Exactly. Yeah. Because if you have one crazy person. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Then that's okay because then you can continue to hide this secret. Yeah. yeah. That's true. So, um... I feel like, sorry, we're trying to get through all of this kind of fast because yeah. we don't have too much time for this first recap, guys. Um, but let's just dive into Helen and kind of her character, which I yeah. find really cool because mm-hmm. she is a mermaid believer. She is. She is. She's got her shop. and all the she, artifacts. Mm-hmm. And she knows from sight mm-hmm. that this that Rin is a mermaid. Exactly. Yeah. Do you think Helen has a great – she has definite positive intentions towards helping Rin. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, she's looking yeah. after her. She wants to protect her. Like she was scared for her to run outside, and I feel she went like, to go get her food. Exactly. Yeah, she has a sense of respect. Yeah. yeah, she went to go get all that yeah. fish, and um, like she has a sense of responsibility to watch out for her to take care of mm-hmm. her because she obviously believes in the story, and she doesn't want her to get hurt. Like in the I past. think, I, I think now she, she since she knows what the family has done before with mm-hmm. the genocide, uh, I think she wants to preserve like this this creature. You know exactly. And I, yeah, I definitely in I there was parts of me was kind of thinking, how does her ties? How do they lie with with the mermaids? Why does mm-hmm. she have such a deep deep love? And, yeah, and yeah. kind of kinder. She's kindred towards them and, and has this connection. Why is that? That's you know, history. does she yeah. have family members? that you know maybe have had some sort of interaction with yeah. mermaids mm-hmm. that maybe be... she had an interaction that maybe she was saved at some point yeah. by a mermaid or it could have been many different things or maybe in her family you know far back like yeah. they were maybe fighting for the mermaids or something yeah, like, yeah. you know they believe from the beginning it's like I, they were against the genocide. Mm-hmm. Of course. And I have a feeling that there's going to be a really cool story behind Helen mm-hmm. and and 
how she got started with all this mermaid stuff and I can't wait to see it. Yeah. It's definitely going to be fun to watch and also she did give us a good point that mermaids uh, when they're in the water they automatically feel like they're getting attacked mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's why they fight back right away. Yeah. Exactly. So obviously we see that when Ben first of all can we talk about how Ben just dives right into <laughs> any type of water? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> you don't okay. know what is about to happen. I think it might be different when you grow up near the water no. because <laughs> he no. legitimately saw he said he saw her that face did not look like her. I did it. It looked it scary. Like a creature. Yeah. He just was di- <laughs> and the way he just dives in dives right in I'm like yeah. what are you doing? In the dark with a flashlight like with your clothes on like <laughs> You just really, yeah. Okay, just, in his defense, he could have thought that she was drowning. He could have. And honestly, I feel like when you, <laughs> because I have friends that grow by the beach and they will go in the beach all the time. And I didn't grow up at the beach and I I hate going in the beach. I feel like a shark's going to come up and get me, <laughs> even if I, I'm standing there and You're I like can still see. The- yeah. So I, I give him props for being able to just kind of like jump in there and go technically I feel like he went in there to save her and when he heard the noise I think he probably thought that she was caught or something and that's why he jumped in the water again but that's so risky because knowing that she attacked him he could have been attacked again if really it was her underneath the water exactly. right when he was when he di- dove in when he was the on second the boat time, yeah. oh my mm-hmm. gosh when he did the second time I'm thinking first of all that boat is moving <laughs> and for some I don't know how he was able to like stop the propeller from happening and like pull the big yeah yeah that was a lot I don't yeah. even know what that was it was a camera wasn't mm-hmm. it and the big camera out of it. But I'm thinking, man, wow, what we know from this episode so far, the first two episodes, is that Ben fearless. Ha- is fearless <laughs> yeah, and yeah. will do anything for the people he cares about. Exactly. So that'll be interesting. If we know that he's jumped in the water twice for Rin, what's he going to do for Maddie? What is he going to do for Maddie? <laughs> How are you going to show your love? Ben? Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to show your love for Maddie? Because we need to see it more so than a kiss. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Let's talk about Maddie a little bit. I love how she seems like a very confident and strong character. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I like how she was there and willing to help I, help Ben. It's really yeah. nice to see a relationship that starts off strong. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I feel as if in a lot of TV shows you kind of get that relationships kind of on the rocks and mm-hmm. then a girl comes in and it kind of sifts them apart. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why I wanted to kind of know what you guys thought about how Rin would fit into the picture because I'm thinking that Maddie and Ben, even though there is some sort of connection with Rin, with mm-hmm. Ben, seeing how that all plays out because she and him seem to be so strong. Right. Mm-hmm. And she is so willing to help and be there and she even said she already has this strong connection towards Rin. Yeah, and they both like, do. So yeah. I, like there's definitely not a jealousy thing at right. all. Yeah. Like they're both intrigued by her. They both want to help. So I I think unless like something clearly happens between mm-hmm. Ben and Rin, I think Maddie is she's not gonna be that, you know, typical yeah. jealous girl from like, of oh course. this beautiful girl. Especially like, because she's a she's a siren and she can't be on Earth for too long. Exactly. Right. <laughs> That's so what, true. What kind of relationship are we gonna have? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and but yeah. Right. Wait, okay, so with the siren, is it when she gets wet or touched by water is when she starts turning back? Yes. Yeah, because that's when she yeah, when the it's little one, yeah. Uh huh. And yeah, but then it went away. So So it, that's what I like how long does she have? Yeah, because in the first episode where she was wheezing and like she needed the water, so yeah. how long before she She needs to get back in exactly. the water. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Um but going back back to Maddie really quick we have Maddie and her dad's relationship and we see yeah. that the mom left mm-hmm. yeah and she's tra- and the dad thinks that she's gonna come back eventually right. and mm-hmm. find her way home this is I'm I feel like they would have put they wouldn't have put such a focus on the mom if the mom wasn't willing to come back into right. the story yeah. sure she'll come back yeah so I wonder if like is she a mermaid? I I kind of have a feeling. Oh God. This can That's, go into my per- I predictions. That. I like I like mm. my prediction. Well, this can go into my predictions later, but I'm just thinking that the way that all of these people intertwine together is that maybe everybody kind of has some sort of tie to a mermaid yeah. in this town. So there's more okay. out there than just Rin and her sister right. as what we're seeing right now. And mm-hmm. maybe they have found a way to stay on land longer, mm-hmm. or you know 
I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. We know um, they're highly intelligent. Exactly. Yeah. They're humans, so they mm-hmm. could be walking amongst, they've been living in the town. Like, right, living yeah. in the we mermaid don't know. town. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so that'll be interesting. And and we got introduced to so many characters, and yeah. so apologies if we're not explaining them too well right now, but I think as the storyline progresses, we'll exactly. be able to focus in on... And learn a little bit more about all of them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, bringing it over to Ben's friends, we kind of see Ian and Calvin, they were the ones that were with Chris. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when Chris went missing, they came back and they felt like they could confide in Ben mm-hmm. and he kind of strayed them away. Mm-hmm. And I found it a little, Ian seems like he's a softy and he's got yeah. a good heart and mm-hmm. he kind of, he's willing to be there for Ben. Calvin, complete opposite. Yeah. He's willing to just go at him for anything. Mm-hmm. So I just am interested to see... I don't know. With e, what are your guys' thoughts on the whole Ian Calvin Ben relationship? Do you think this is like a long lasting friendship that's going to progress and get stronger as the season goes on, or do you think that they're going to start getting annoyed with Ben and how he is kind of hiding Rin the Siren from them? I, I think. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think eventually, when I want them to figure out about Rin, and mm-hmm. of course they'll be upset that you know they hid them or mm-hmm. hid her from them but um, I mean they're all trying to find their friend and that's mm-hmm. their common goal so I, I think their friendship is going to stay strong they're going to butt heads you know over the secret and everything I wonder when they're going to figure that out but um, yeah they they really just want to find Chris yeah. yeah and I have a feeling that Calvin's not going to be happy when he finds out this oh secret. my god not I mean all. he's not going to be he's definitely not going to be happy but then at the same time I feel like they're going to realize that she has this power where she can see because um, I I think I think we're we're kind of assuming that she can see the sister right when she was hearing and she was getting the flashbacks. I think she was able to see that. So I have a feeling that they're going to like once he finds out that she is a siren, they're going to try and somehow maybe use her to try and figure out like if um, Chris is also at the same place, which we both know we mermaid. all know like that she is. Mm-hmm. So I think like if anything, they're going to. Um, stay united so that way they could find Chris and the sister at the same at the same time because they'll probably be in the same location yeah and that's I mean they would probably all have fun together as friends and they'll learn and grow as a group Mm -hmm. and you know what also can help you learn and grow in all areas of your life Um, We have got the perfect podcast for you. It is Conversations with Maria Menounos, podcast edition. It's hosted by our AfterBuzz TV founder and drops every Friday on iTunes. Conversations with Maria Menounos features celebrity and influencer interviews along with secrets and tips on how to better... Be better in all aspects of your life, from health and wellness to career, relationships, finances, and more. Let our Maria be the big sister that you've always wanted. Just go to iTunes and subscribe to Conversations with Maria Menos. And guys, it's free. Mm -hmm. You just go to iTunes and download the podcast for for free. And when you do, please write and comment and tell them that the ladies from Siren (laughs) brought you there. Again, that's Conversations with Maria Menos podcast edition on iTunes. Check it out, guys. She's amazing. All of the talent that she brings in is is. so inspiring. And it's definitely something that you can listen to in the car or Mm -hmm. with with your friends or with your earbuds when you're shopping. It's just like having your best friends there. Yeah. So you guys should definitely check it out. And we're so thankful for Maria and all that she does for us. Mm-hmm. Um, but speaking of fun and friends, let's get back to <laughs> Ian and Calvin and all of this kind of craziness that's going on. Um, I just, it's it's really fun to kind of see that we do have already people that we can kind of see as maybe the villains of the friendship oh, group. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, the ones, the jealous ones. And we're just kind of getting tidbits of all of that. Mm-hmm. Um. But one of the friends, Chris, we see in in the the Navy, and mm-hmm, we're yes. kind of wondering, what do you guys think the Navy w- has to do with mermaids and this guy? I mean, I wasn't surprised when you know the seals were dropping in on. Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> That was really intense, by the it way. It was really yeah. intense, but I feel like, you know, you hear stories with the government trying to cover up things. So yeah. I was like, they hear about a mermaid and they want to be the first ones to get it, cover Find it, it up. Find it, yeah. But then I thought it was really crazy how, I mean, I, I understand, I don't agree with it, but I understand how they, you know, take the mermaid. But mm-hmm. to take Chris, I mean, can't you send him to the hospital? I mean, yeah. why, are you, why are you keeping him, holding him hostage? Right. What if he doesn't even remember what happened? I think, I think that's crazy how they're holding him and the family doesn't even know what happened to him. 
I no do. one, yeah, no one knows. They, they know each other. Yeah. And it is kind of, they're they're keeping it a little too calm. Right. They're like, oh, Chris is gone, but like, yeah, like we saw yeah. you rescue him, so we know he's not dead. Where is he? You know? Yeah. That's crazy. That's so insane. Yeah. I thought, honestly, I, first of all, was also not surprised that they showed up and they were <laughs> right. like, oh, what did you find this time? I was like, oh, okay, like somehow you just happened to be up in the air ready <laughs> to exactly. dive in. Um, but the other part is like, I personally think that the reason why they kept Chris is probably because this is not the first time that like mm, somebody's attacked been somebody. attacked mm. by a siren. And I think that they're trying to test like different things that would happen because like why else would they keep him there besides like I'm sure they don't want to save his life like I'm I hundred percent sure that's Ooh. not what they what, want. <laughs> what if it's do you guys watch iZombie at all on CW? Mm-hmm. What if it's almost like so in iZombie whenever a zombie scratches a human oh, they turn God. into a zombie. <gasps> what if they're trying to figure out it's if infected. you get scratched you turn into a siren mermaid. Ben was oh. scratched too though. So he could become a mermaid and. And, oh, a mermaid. And, and 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 he was scratched right here where their gills would where he's like oh my god to be like breathe because okay so <gasps> I love the show already <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's there are so many ways where this show can go and it's yeah. all great great interesting mysterious that would ways be crazy. that would be so crazy I don't know if they're gonna go that right. route yeah. but that's Maybe, definitely a possibility season, you know. mm-hmm. um, but so you guys remember when. When um, Maddie's dad had the case files on the counter, and mm-hmm. there was the picture that was on top of the counter, do you guys remember? Like, so there was a picture of the case, and I couldn't tell if it was a picture of um, the obviously the man mm-hmm. that Ren had murdered, or if it was a picture of Ben's cuts on his oh. neck because the guy had the cuts on his neck and and because obviously she killed him right and then ben had them too so i couldn't figure out what picture because as soon as maddie and ben got in there the dad closed the files mm. and tried to act as if they didn't see anything yeah. so i'm just curious as to like maybe the dad knows a little bit more because mm-hmm. obviously he tried to like hide those files away from yeah exactly. I don't know but then it kind of it's all messy because right. I don't know if he's just hiding it obviously because there was a murder yeah. yeah or you know I don't know so that's what I was a little confused about I don't know why I guess I didn't really think about it being Ben because he didn't like report it or he didn't yeah go right and that's in. okay okay then that makes more sense I was thinking that yeah. like I don't remember there him calling the doctor right. or anything yeah. he just kind of went about exactly. life as if it was normal mm-hmm. yeah yeah, I think it's actually from from the guy that tried to take okay. advantage of her. Mm-hmm. Which that was terrible. Threw yeah. him through the window. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love that. He I was said, like, yes. "Not today." <laughs> not to- oh my god! Yeah, Rin is fearless and powerful, and I love it. I She's awesome. She is. Yeah. yeah. I think all these characters you can kind of tell are they're very strong and have like I don't know it's just gonna be really fun to see them grow and mm-hmm. see more than just these two episodes because we've got the foundation now and mm-hmm. and yeah. now we not need to see how it's gonna like pan out throughout right. the season yeah, exactly. I feel like we kind of gathered all of our thoughts, and yeah. there's so much. I feel like there might be so much more. Um, what do you guys think about can... the sister? Oh, who's trapped? Who's yeah. Caught? Sure, I'm interested. I I don't, I don't really know because she's clearly next episode in the previews. We see that she's gonna try to fight back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's another thing is that if what what glass box do they have her in if she can't burst through it? But then I guess at the end of the day, where's she gonna go? Yeah. Well, no, because then she would have legs. I was gonna say, but, do we get to see her as a human? That's what I was about to say. I was like, wait, can she somehow get out of there? Yeah. And then, like, it, even if she was just to stick her hand out, would mm-hmm. like would it change anything? Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Or do, do they need to be in that specific spot and land in that, like, in the sea, like the little um, cottage thing that we saw where um, Ren keeps like falling into where she changes into a, into a human? Does she need yeah. to go into that? Yeah, yeah I don't like know. A- like a prediction. Like, yeah. What do there's, you think is going to happen? And that's what's so crazy is there's so many different ways that this can go about. And mm-hmm. there's, like, I don't know. There's just so many different ways because she could literally, I don't know why she ends up in that same spot. Because mm-hmm. she just yeah. wakes up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugh, when she ate that rat, it kind of, it creeped me out. Yeah. I didn't like that. <laughs> and also, I think I'm calling Ian is his real name, but it's Xander. Xander. I've been calling Xander Ian, but his, but his real name is Ian, Ian Xander is and Xander is his character name. <laughs> yeah. I like looked at my notes, and I'm sorry, guys, but I've been calling Xander, which his real name is Ian. So 
Yeah. Um, anyways, but guys, let's get into some predictions for this next week mm-hmm. and the rest of the season. Carla, starting with you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she caught me off guard. I was like, <laughs> okay, I have this really crazy prediction, and I don't know why this is what I think, but I have a feeling that the mom was probably attacked by a mermaid, and the reason why she can't, she's on a wheelchair, is because of that, and the only reason why she's still with the dad is because the dad is like paying her for her t- for her for her to have the lifestyle that she wants to have sure. and to keep her mouth shut so Ooh, she doesn't so like true. take that out. Yes, love it. I love it. So that's Gosh. like that's my biggest prediction. Okay. <laughs> Sarah, when, when you first said that the mom was attacked, I was thinking of Maddie's mom and that's, that's why she disappeared. She didn't leave. Yeah. Right. I don't know, that could be something. That could. But um I also maybe not this next episode, but I definitely see chemistry between Rin and Ben, something romantic. I don't know. It's, you know, you got to have a love story. So oh, yeah. yeah. Even though I do love mm-hmm. Maddie, but you know, I don't want to um yeah, this this remind. Oh, oh, and with Helen, I do think that she had some, I think she had some sort of interaction with a mermaid. Yeah. Or like a family member or something. Mm-hmm. That's why she's so like, you know, sure. Like right. she believed in them. And I definitely think there's something more towards Helen's backstory with her family mm-hmm. because why is she all alone? You know? Yeah. Exactly. So maybe her family was part of that, got kind of swept away in that craziness. But yeah. I don't know. My huge, my biggest prediction is that I kind of have a weird feeling this could be totally off, so I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> I'm thinking that Rin's sister is Maddie's mom. I don't know why. I just am like, eh, that could happen. Because if she's left, you know, and never came back, maybe yeah. it was she was <gasps> a mermaid, came to land. Oh and so then Rin, that's why, remember how she said I have a connection towards her and I yeah. don't realize why? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because that's Come her on. aunt. And the dad knows. I don't know, maybe. So that's probably okay. way too far fetched. <laughs> but really I'm going <laughs> I'm going with that one and um I think I like that one. Yeah. And um, that's gonna be my big one. And we'll mm-hmm. I gotta wait and I'm gonna have to watch the, the episodes all over again yeah. so I can yeah. kinda di- digest all the information once more before mm-hmm. I start making more predictions. But guys, I'm obsessed with the show. Yeah. I think I it's love amazing. it already. I it's like it. I, I was very interested in seeing how they were going to make a show about sirens and now that it's here i'm just so thankful yeah Yeah. i'm I'm excited and speaking of excitement guys we are so excited because reina owen who plays helen is going to join us next week and we are so excited to have her on the show and hear all of her insight and ask her a bunch of questions so if you guys have questions please hashtag siren abtv and we will try to get some of your questions on the show for next week Awesome. And also, if you are a fan, we will be doing a weekly fan shout out as well. So you might be able to hear your name on the show, yes. which would be super fun. <laughs> and we love all of you guys every week for joining us and watching because now that this is going to be one of our favorite shows, we want to yeah. help it make it more fun and break down all of the crazy stuff that happens every week. Yes. But I think that just wraps up everything that... For this week, Siren episodes one and two, guys. Yes, we did it. (laughs) Headed into episode three. I can't wait. Carla, where can they find you on social media? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and happy International Mermaid Day. Is that today? Yeah, Yeah, it's today. And um, you guys can find me on Instagram at I am Carla Beltran or on Twitter at Carla Beltran with an R at the end. Sarah? And you can find me on Twitter at Sarah Lioness, Lioness with a Y, and on Instagram at Sarah underscore Lioness. And hey, guys, Alex. Allie Nasty here. Find me on Twitter at Allie Nasty and on Instagram at Allie Girl. We will see you next week. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>